Welcome back to the review folks and here we have another camera. This one is from the 50s and this is a Pax M2. Now Pax is a uh, Japanese company that used to uh, make uh, very good quality cameras. As, uh, this is a rangefinder camera and they used to call this camera the Japanese Leica just because of the construction the way it's built. Uh, very well made camera. They made different models. This is the M2 model. Uh, it comes with this leather uh, case uh, here. And this comes off. And then this bottom part comes off. And this is the camera. Um, as you can see, it, it looks very much like a Leica. Um, this is a heavy camera, although it's very, very small. It's, it's tiny compared to other cameras. Uh, this is a rangefinder camera. That means that uh, you watch, you view through here, and th and then this is for uh, finding the range. Basically, you you adjust until you get the right exact uh, range uh, to shoot the the shot. Uh, this thing is in uh, phenomenal condition as far as the outside, the uh, the way it looks and everything. The leatherette or leather. Um, it's got the PAX name in the back. Uh, this is serial number, this model number. But it's got several, several issues uh, with it. And I'm going to go through the issues with you. Because uh, this is going to be auction, uh, it's going to be on sale, put on sale on Etsy, but really reduced because it's going to have to be serviced. And uh, it's going to, it's got several, several different issues. Now the lens is in great condition. This lens right here is a 1.35 f40 45 millimeter and a stigma luminor. Um, great lens. Now this lens here does not come off. Now I've seen other videos that uh, cameras like this, people just take the lens off somehow and then put it on a digital camera because they want to use the vintage lenses. You can probably do that on this one. I'm not sure if you can or not. What does come off is the front part of the lens right here. Let me see if I can take it off here. And this can screw right off. As you can see, and the lens is in really, really good condition. Really good condition. And there you can see the shutter. And um, this is one of the problems with the camera. Uh, the shutter does not open and it does, it's not functioning. As you can see here, it will not function. Even when you turn the aperture ring, uh, nothing happens basically. So the camera, um, is uh it's gonna be sold as is for parts now it could be something very minor uh, but I'm not sure and this camera basically is for, for an enthusiast that uh, will decide hey listen I want this in my collection and I'll spend whatever amount it is to get it fixed and and get it serviced um, but anybody else, I mean, these cameras, they go for like $80 on eBay and they go like $80 on Etsy and other other marketplaces. So, uh, I mean, it just depends. Uh, I mean, there's not too many of them either. It, so if you want something for a collection purposes, this this is a good one. Uh, now, it does have two other, a uh, few other things like this turning knob here for, for the reel. It's kind of very, very hard. And as well as the distance knob right here, the, the one in the back. These other two are, are really good. These other two, they turn well with not, without any issues. But this this one back one here uh, is, is kind of stuck. Okay, so... Um, and then 
here the the winder is is in good condition everything here is in good condition this is to push down and you rewind your film um, it's got a cold shoot for for flash uh, right here on the lens let's see if we can find it here this is right here down here it shows you uh, you can get two different types of a flash. You can get the bulb, which is you can turn it to this one, or you can get the regular flash, uh, and then you just have to connect it to this piece right here, and you got your cold shoot. Um, it's a really fantastic camera. Feels heavy. Feels quality. It feels very good quality. It's, it's metal. You know, all mechanical. There's nothing, there's not mechanical in this camera. This is to open the back. So let's see if I can do it with uh, right here. See, very easy. Much easier than a Leica. And they're much easier than some other uh, cameras that, that look like a Leica. This is Japanese made, man. It is uh, Japanese. They make good quality. And look at the inside. This thing looks like new i mean I, I just don't know exactly what happened that it got to the point that the shutter doesn't work and and then this winding knob is so tough uh, to to turn but i'm not sure see everything looks good everything looks pretty good in there you know and uh to put it back back in you you align this right here I can align it right there and then you turn it to lock and that's it and it's a really nice looking camera uh, really good feel too bad it's not functioning I want to take some pictures with it some film and see how it, uh, how it shoots and everything but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, list this camera on Etsy uh, most likely starting tomorrow at a really low price. If someone's interested in in a beautiful camera like this, I think it's worth it. Uh, I think it's worth getting it serviced and fixed. Uh, folks, thanks a lot uh, for for the subscriptions. I really do really do appreciate it. And thanks for watching the channel. Uh, please leave a comment uh, so that way um, you can say what you think about these cameras and, and if you're a collector or not. Uh, thank you very much. I hope you have a great day.